Hello, I'm Ellen Goldberg, and I welcome you to this Tarot Moment with the School of Oracles. In this segment, we're going to learn a little bit about the Magician. The Magician is the first card of the numbered series. We've already talked about the Fool, which is the zero, and as you know, the zero is everywhere. But the number one, whose name in numbers is Initiation, is the first. And of course, this is a very important position so that the person who is on this card is a very important character in our own tarot journey. This is Mercury, Hermes, the three times great, Hermes Trismegistus. He who is the one that the entire Hermetic tradition is named for, he who was the initiator, priest, king and bringer of good unto Egypt, often called also the scribe of Saturn and giver to Egypt of its 48 books of knowledge, including astronomy, astrology, medicine, architecture, mathematics, medicine, you name it. It was said to have come through Hermes Mercury Trismegistus. The Hebrew letter that goes with this particular card is called Bet, and Bet means house, and it refers back to the time in Egypt when building was a sacred art practiced by the priests under the jurisdiction of the priest, but also our home, our body, this is the place we operate from. His intelligence is called the transparent intelligence, or I should really make that clear, the intelligence of Bet, given to it by the oldest book of the Kabbalah the Zephyr Yetzirah, the Book of Formation. It gave to each of the letters, and as you know, each of the letters informs so much what, what the major arcana card will mean and uh, the power that it carries. It gave to Bet the very appropriate title of the Transparent Intelligence. He is in an archetypal position a mudra with one arm raised and one arm holding a magic wand but the real magic wand is the finger that he points downwards because he's transparent and that energy comes right through him he is bringing the energy from above to below the primary hermetic axiom of this tradition is as above so below we are a microcosm of the macrocosm. And when we unite the macrocosm with the microcosm that is ourself, why that's the completion of the great work of self-realization. You'll notice that above the magician there are roses, and below him, as he points with that finger of Jupiter, there are both roses and lilies. And this indicates symbolically in the tarot that he has brought so much marvelous energy through him that he brings down not only the roses, but creates something even richer and more beautiful. On the table before him, you'll see the symbols of the four suits of the tarot. There's a wand, a cup, a sword, and a pentacle, and he is ready to work. That table is sometimes referred to as the field of attention. And one of the greatest lessons that we can learn by meditating on this card is that of concentration. In fact, meditating on this card will help your power of choice and power of concentration. Tom Burke says about the magician, he who finds the silence in the power of concentration without effort is never alone. The forces from heaven the forces from on high are there supporting him from then on. And that is true about this card. This develops concentration without effort. The magician is totally focused on what he's doing, but he's relaxed. When this card comes in its upper polarity, it has to do with the power of concentration, with making good, skillful choices with directing energy from above to below. When it's in its lower polarity, hmm, 
then the trickster part of Mercury comes to the forward. In fact, this card, when it's given a rulership, is ruled by the planet Mercury. Yes, on the lower polarities, plenty tricky. It also could be scattered forces, or confusion, or the inability to make a choice. Enjoy it. Take the pose. Feel what it's like to pull energy down. Use this card to develop your own skill. He's our guide through the rest of the whole journey. Music